<clears throat> Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to Searching in Fearless Tarot. Sorry, I've been gone for a while. This message today is going to be for Gemini, Libra, and Scorpio. Um, the song I got was uh, Montero by Little Moss. Um, Call Me By Your Name. I know Josh is going to have a heyday with that one. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So let's get into the energy. Father God, Holy Spirit, thank you so much for another day. Not promise. Thank you for all the love, guidance, and wisdom you share with us. We are nothing without it or you. What do my Libra, Scorpio, Geminis need to know at this time for their highest good and the highest good of all involved? Call me by your name. Okay. Fuck yeah. All right. So I get the star, the lovers, and the two of pentacles. This is talking about healing and bringing balance into your life. The lovers does not feel like partners to me. It feels like your divine masculine and your divine feminine coming together. Um, I say that because it's next to the star. And it's like spirit showing me poor, you pouring your cup into yourself. Even if some of the situations that you're in are a little overbearing right now or not ideal is what I'm hearing, quote unquote. Um, a lot of you guys are making choices. Uh, I'm seeing the four of wands emperor with the four of wands reversed and the ten of cups reversed. You could have a lot of people around you that you're, um, or you could be experiencing divorce yourself um, or separation of some kind with the family. You could be making choices to distance yourself from them. It could be something as simple as that. Um, you could be dealing with divorced parents right now. But you're having to be objective and observant of the situation. Um, because I feel like it has something to do with your healing. Wow, this is interesting. Nice. All right. Um, this has to do with the fact that you are more than capable of doing everything that you need to do to be reliant on yourself. Um, but you've been playing small. And maybe some of you have been brought back into your family situations to heal and undergo another cycle to make sure that you get, I'm hearing mothering. Boom. Wow. Okay. So I get the queen of pentacles after, after I hear mothering, the five of swords and death. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to clarify the five of swords. Holy poop. That was insane. Bam. Okay. Um, so a, a lot of you are ending are for some of you, it's, it's your ending this image of, of competition. For some of you, it could be competition for others of you. It's just, um, the fake facade of a relationship that you had with this person. Um, it's like you, this person was a part of your family, was super connected to you. Um, but there was never anything real. There was never anything tangible when it came to emotions. And when it did, it was always involved. There was always drinking involved or smoking involved, or there was some kind of mind altering substance that happened that, that was happening, um, that created this division. With death, you're planning for the future, but you could interesting um the second i saw the magician reversed i felt like you were on the edge of a cliff okay because that's what i'm feeling it's like you're on the edge of a cliff you're on this precipice and you're waiting for this clarity this understanding that's going to come in i really don't know much about that song <laughs> um a lot of you guys are thinking in the future about how much you give to other people and how much you get in return. With the King of Wands and the Ace of Cups, you could be very exuberant, charming, helpful, especially my Leos. Um, but at the same time, it's like you're not getting that same re reciprocation in relationships. So you're having to reevaluate how much you give to other people. You're having to reevaluate the injustices that have happened to you throughout your life. This feels like a, like a total life review for you. 
and you're making the choices to balance out your emotions and try to create healing wherever healing is possible. Now, I know for some of you, these this relationship that I was talking about in the beginning of the reading isn't always possible because the other person doesn't feel like growing. But the point is that you're finding clarity on it fearlessly, where going and navigating places that you have feared or ran away from for a very, very long time, which is creating this intelligence inside of yourself. Um, you know, and another thing, Mercury is squaring Saturn right now, and that transit is a major transit for feeling obligations, duties, um, and reevaluating those obligations and duties and overcoming them and coming to a place of harmony. Um, that, the, that transit with Mercury being the planet of communication and how we perceive the world, when it's squaring Saturn, the planet of time, the planet of authority, suppression, you could be feeling um, these thoughts or perceptions that have held you back for a long time or kept you really small or made you feel like you couldn't do something yourself. You're being pushed out of those scenarios. You're being pushed out of, um, out of feeling like you're not enough. You're being pushed out of feeling like you can't um, be independent on your own. You're being pushed out of feeling like you always have to go by other people's decisions in order to create the life that you want. You always have to help other people or guide other people. It's like you, you've you lived your life as an obligation to other people and you're learning that that's not going to help you. That's not, that's not where it's at. You have to help yourself first. And so you're navigating that path. Some of you have been walking this for a while. So don't think that, you know, I'm assuming you're just stumbling onto this. I feel like this is something you've been working on since 2020. And some of these patterns of depression and these patterns of um, domestic unrest is what I'm hearing. Um, you're just understanding that, that, that their mentality, it's in their control and you're having to step away from that. However that may be, if a lot of them are choosing not to heal, a lot of them are choosing to keep the secrets and the fighting and the bullshit and the drama. Um, but you, my friend, are coming in as the Queen of Swords. You are silently taking in your environment. You're silently understanding logically without emotion for some of you the very first time in your life. What is going on? And you had to do this. You had to go through this cycle in order to see clearly that some things will never change and that it's not up to you to fix everything, that not everything is in your control. <sighs> You're doing a good job though. I know, I feel like a lot of you are in chaos. You feel like you're like the universe is literally breaking you. I had a client tell me that. It's breaking and it, what I thought when I saw that, <clears throat> it's not break, it's breaking you, it's breaking you down to build you back up if that makes any sense. It's breaking you down to take away all of the limitations, all of the bullshit that you've been too scared to face. And at the end of the day, if you're cautious and you move with intention and you move with your own discernment, you're going to be just fine. I promise. I promise you're going to be just fine. Things aren't going to be ideal sometimes. But mastering your emotions and balancing yourself out is the key here and understanding your own independence, that you've got this, that your self-expression is everything. It means the world. You're not meant to hide behind other people. You're not meant to help other people. You're meant to help yourself right now. That doesn't mean that you won't help people in the future. And that doesn't mean that the skills that you're accumulating as you're helping yourself won't be used for other people that are going to come to you in the future with these same issues. Um, let me clarify. Um, I got the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles reversed. I'm going to clarify the Six of Pentacles reversed. A lot of, yeah, a lot of you have held back. A lot of you have held back. I'm getting Page of Wands and Page of Cups. A lot of you were learning how to express yourself. A lot of you were learning how to take care of yourself first and take take care of other people next. A lot of you were learning that 
when you take care of yourself, you are more prepared to handle the world in a more constructive way than just trying to help everybody else's story but your own. All of these tests and tribulations are happening because you need to find your voice wherever you're at in this journey. Some of you are just beginning. Others of you have been on this for a while. And I know that patience is frustrating as fuck. I know hearing that is frustrating as fuck. But you are making plans for the future. And it's almost like I'm seeing... <laughs> Here it goes again. It's almost like I'm seeing Five Goes West when he's wishing on that star. Think about those better days ahead. Think about... Think about the gratitude that you have for the right now, for the chance to live another day, for the chance to breathe in your story and go on your new adventure. That's what you're meant to focus on right now. It's chaotic and it feels like it's not, it's never going to come together. But I promise you when this does come together, you're, that's something that you're going to hold in your pocket for the rest of your life. You're going to understand that any, any type of, blockage or unalignment you have the capacity to get past it you have the capacity to be the strongest version of yourself possible and to fight for that every single day a lot of the transits are asking us what is our value what do we value in ourselves do we know what we bring to the table do we know how important it is that we bring our best self to the table because our best self is going to create ripples throughout the world whether we like to think that or not. That's why <clears throat> being your best, best self and taking the time to understand who you are is so pivotal, important. It's important to understand who you are so you can know who you resonate with and who you can help from your own experience. I'm getting the Page of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. What's this Nine of Wands? Please clarify the Nine of Wands. <sighs> a lot of you guys, um, a lot of you guys think that you're moving forward because you're playing the hero. You're playing the savior. And this isn't for everybody, but for those of you who refuse to let go of someone else, who refuse to constantly monitor their progress, to constantly try to help them, even at your own demise, it worse is going to happen if you do not let this go. If you do not focus on yourself, it's going to get worse because spirit is going to keep showing you that the only person that will never fail you is yourself. There are new opportunities that there are new opportunities that are waiting for you. But it's time for you to move past caring only caring for other people. It's time for you to move past feeling like you're not enough. It's time for you to do whatever it takes to heal and actually do the work and stop stop with trying to find answers from everybody else but yourself. This is a time to go within and figure out what you want. And maybe that can be very daunting for some of you because you've never asked or you never thought to ask, or maybe you were bullied your entire life. But the thing is, is that right now is the time for you to step up and be who you are. If you don't like that job, if you don't like that relationship, if you feel like you're not being treated kindly enough, if you feel like your energy isn't being reciprocated, it's time to step back and evaluate what is a good situation for you. What is a good, who is a good person for you? And sometimes it's, it's awful to get this real with yourself, but it's necessary and it's going to change. And it, it requires intuition. It requires discernment and it requires adaptation, but that's, it, there's no reason why you can't do this. You are successful in the heart of your mind. You've got this. I'm going to go with advice before I go. What's the advice for my beautiful Gemini Scorpio Libras?
keep going towards your passion. Keep going towards the things that you love. If you're obsessing over like learning something or if you're wanting to learn something or if, if you um, are wanting to grow in something, but it doesn't make any sense um, with what you're doing right now, trust that what you're learning is going to be useful for you later. Um, I hope that message makes sense to you. But find your passion and keep going. Don't hold in your emotions. Don't hold in what's happened to you. Don't hold in what's going on time for you to talk about it this I know this doesn't feel like it but this feeling of burnout this feeling of over exhaustion and overworking yourself is actually a good thing because it's showing you it, it's give it's giving you a redirection it's giving you a redirection to where you're meant to go and there's a need to trust because no you're not in control and that's scary as fuck I get it but there's a need to trust that these things are happening for you, not to you. I love you. You're going to get through this, I promise. It's just a season. This too shall pass. You've got this. Bye.